What's up guys, my name is Andre and welcome to a new video. Today, I'm showing you guys the Painting 4 pre-built that a friend of mine gave me. And I absolutely love this system, it has become my favorite system. I know many people would would uh, immediately make the, the Dual Painting 3 system their favorite system, but in fact, this Painting 4 pre-built uh, ended up being my favorite system. Because it is so unbelievably versatile. I mean, the hardware that I put in there now is powerful enough to tackle pretty much any old game that I might want to play. Plus, I don't know. <laughs> Plus, it's a small machine, so I can fit I can fit it pretty much anywhere. It's not silent, first and foremost, because it is a Pentium 4. And without further, further ado, here are the hardware specs. So we got a Pentium 4, 3 gigahertz. I know on the dual Pentium 3 video, I said slightly, I told you slightly different specs, but I changed them. And now we're rocking a Pentium 4, 3 gigahertz uh, pre scot so it is 1 megabyte of level 2 cache and 800 megahertz FSB, 2 gigabytes of DDR1 4, DDR1 400 uh, RAM, a 40 gig hard drive from Samsung, although I do plan on in the future, expanding that capacity, or possibly even put an SSD. Let's just be. Uh, let's just play Phil's Computer Lab for a second. And I put in the radio, the Radeon HD 4650. I I hate that card so much because I can't make it work on any other system apart from Windows XP. But since we're only running XP on this machine, it's what it's what we can do. It's sad that I didn't take any pictures of the computer when I first got it because there was no CPU fan, no RAM, no hard drive, all the cables were unplugged. So I, essentially I had to provide all these things on my own. But here it is today, it works and I love it. This socket 478 pre-built originally came with the Celeron D 2.26 GHz, but because that CPU is so horrible and it's, not, and it's not even worth pocket change today, I immediately threw it in the bin. So as you saw from the Dual Pentium 3 video, I equipped it with Firstly, with a 2.4 GHz Pentium 4 and an FX5200. But as time progressed, I thought maybe I can make the system as good as it can be. So I put in the HD4650 and a 3.0 GHz Prescott Pentium 4. I've been using this machine as my secondary retro gaming computer since the Dual Pentium 3 video came out, and I absolutely love it. So let's just run you through some numbers. And by disabling VSync, we put a huge strangle on the CPU, as you might expect from a Pentium 4 running an HD4650, so I tested the games both with VSync turned on and turned off. And with a game full of stutters on Half-Life 2, VSync turned off, we got an average of 86, a minimum of 24, and a max of 170. It is worth telling you that this is the DVD version, the DVD release version of Half-Life 2, so this is running pretty much as good as it gets on a Pentium 4. By turning VSync on, we got an average of 60, a minimum of 0, probably when the game was loading something, and a maximum of 63. Now with the original release of Half-Life 1, we got an average of 88, a minimum of 34, and a maximum of 101 frames per second. This is on an outside area where you can blow the chopper up, and this is where many computers face the biggest dip in performance in this game. Of course, this is with VSync turned off. Parting ways from the stuttering mess we get with VSync turned off, with it on, we got an average of 60, a minimum of 33, and a maximum of 65 all in the same demo. Lastly, we got Return to Castle Wolfenstein, and on this game, I couldn't see any difference between VSync turned on and off, and apparently there's an, an optimization issue, which is probably something with the, to do with the drivers, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if there's something wrong with the drivers, because the MD drivers of this, of this era are so shit, but we got an average of 46 FPS, a minimum of 12, and a maximum of 91, which is the engine's cap.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned because I always got something coming. Take care.